Yo, what up peeps, it's your boy Sherlock and we're back again today for another video. Today we're going to be doing a One Piece discussion and that discussion will be over the Rocky Port incident. So not much is known about the Rocky Port incident and Oda's only mentioned it a few times. And when he's mentioned it, it's been very sparse and very spread out. So I want to compile all the data so we have it in one place. And then I want to give y'all a few theories that I have. It was first mentioned in chapter 700 of the manga in episode 629 of the anime. But with the latest chapter of One Piece, chapter 1059, we've gotten a couple more revelations about what really happened during that incident. Only very small details still, but it's still a very big detail in the small detail, if you get what I mean. So if you don't know what the Rocky Port incident is, it's an incident that occurred over the two year time skip and it was apparently mastermind by law and is how Kobe was dubbed the hero. Like I previously mentioned, this was first brought up in chapter 700 by Brand New of the Marines. Um, it's when he's first reintroducing us to the Warlords of the Sea um, post time skip. Kobe's contributions to this were apparently huge because he was promoted to captain and his reputation went way up. As we see through last chapter, the people of Amazon Lily and multiple people throughout the story have called him the hero and noted that they have heard of him from somewhere or another. I think it's cool that Kobe's title of the hero kind of parallels his master Garp's title of the hero of the Marines, which makes a lot of sense if Garp really is the leader of S.W.O.R.D. like some theorize but I'll touch on that a little bit later in the video. I guess that's why this event is starting to sound somewhat like a mini God Valley or God Valley light, if you will. It involved huge figures like Marshall D. Teach, Trafalgar Law, Kobe, and now we just found out Wang Ji, or how he's dubbed in Japan, Achoku. Wang Ji is a former member of the Rocks Pirates, so we can pretty much assume that he's fairly strong and infamous in the One Piece world. The character actually wasn't introduced until the famous Ultimate Chapter, Chapter 957, and I think this may explain why he wasn't originally brought up when they first introduced the Rocky Port incident. I mean, Oda might not even have this character planned when he originally mentioned the events, but Oda's been slowly peeling back the happenings of what happened during that incident, so it's very likely that it was always in his plans. So the results of all of this is Law brings a hundred pirate hearts to the Marines, and he is then promoted to a warlord. Kobe protects civilians and is then dubbed the hero and becomes famous in the Marines. And then Blackbeard takes advantage of all of this somehow through the assistance of Kobe and oust Wang Ji out of the pirate island and becomes the new ruler of this pirate island we call Hachinosu. So, Law Warlord, Kobe the Hero, Blackbeard ruler of Hachinosu. And with all of that, that's all we know about the Rocky Port incident. All right guys, now I'll give you my theories on what I really think happened during the Rocky Port incident. The first one is gonna be the one I think is most likely, and then the other two is gonna be things that I think are fun ideas and could have happened, but I'm not as convinced about. So with Law being dubbed the instigator or mastermind behind the whole incident, I think it was Law's plans to gather 100 Marine hearts and turn them into the Marines that unintentionally or intentionally led to this event. Although they call him the mastermind, I think it's more or less the effects of his plans dominoing throughout the world. I believe Law was able to gather all of these hearts by taking them from the pirates that had gathered on Hachinosu Island. And at that time, Wangji was the leader of the island, which probably made most of those people a part of his crew. So of course this would have angered him. And keep in mind, this is the guy who had the strength and the renown to be a part of the Rocks Pirates and to take part in the God Valley incident. So then you think, who would he take this anger out on? The obvious answer would be Law, but the other answer might be the Marines because they now employ him and he also could think that they may have put him up to it. And I mean, pinning it on the Marines could have been a part of Law's plan the whole time. He gets the position of Warlord and then takes no heat for what occurs. So my theory is, is that Wang Ji attacks the Marines or like a nearby base on a nearby island like Rocky Port. I mean, we did see two other former Rocks Pirates do some serious damage to Marine 4. Shiki from Episode Zero and Whitebeard from the Marine War are both examples of this. This would be a way to drag Kobe into the incident and for him to prove himself as a strong combatant and a true marine. 
Although I'm not sure if Kobe had a direct clash with Wang G, in my head canon, I would like to say yes, he did. I think it'd be a really cool moment to showcase Kobe's growth and then give us a glimpse into his current power. Oda has been building it up for so long, I'd just like it to be a standout moment for Kobe. And for him to have rightfully earned the title of the hero. But that'd be asking a lot of Oda because stories in One Piece hardly ever go how they're originally portrayed. So we'll just say through some means, Kobe aided Blackbeard in taking over Hachinosu Island from Wang Ji. Whether that be through combat ability or distraction. Knowing Kobe as a character, I doubt it was intentional. And knowing Blackbeard as a character, I'm 100% positive he took advantage of the situation for his own gain, per usual. So yeah, I think Law, Kobe, and the Marines weakened Wang Ji and his crew, and Blackbeard was able to come in and take advantage and take over the island to become the new ruler of Hachinosu. Another idea that came up is because Law being dubbed the mastermind of an incident that Kobe was also named the hero of is a little suspect, a little suspicious, especially with Kobe being a member of S.W.O.R.D. and then we have many people out there that theorize that Law is also a member of S.W.O.R.D. So maybe the S.W.O.R.D. organization concocted this plan as a means of increasing the notoriety of the S.W.O.R.D. members. This could help with the infiltration of their members into the pirate world by implanting them into pirate organizations and thus stealing their information and becoming vital members and in influencing them. Kobe, on the other hand, would be the flip side of this. While Law and Drake would be examples of members that lurk in the shadows for the greater good, Kobe would be the opposite side of that coin. He's a great example of a character that could promote the greater good right in the open and influence the Marines right from inside. I just found it a little curious that Oda included this as a major event for both Law and Kobe. I mean, it's an event that leads to a major increase in the notoriety of both characters. So that one's just another fun idea I had. My last idea is that Blackbeard and Law work together to achieve both of their goals. For Blackbeard, it would kind of be like a Whitebeard and Marine Force situation to where he'd kind of have help so he could more or less kind of take advantage of the situation and sneak in and kind of take him out while his crew is weakened or while Wang Ji himself is actually weakened. By teaming up with Blackbeard, Law can accomplish his goal of the 100 hearts way easier. So it makes sense for both individuals. They're both known to be the man with the plan or the men with the plan. So it would be a really cool team up. In this situation, Kobe's kind of drawn into the incident accidentally. Either the results of Law and Blackbeard's plan ends up involving civilians or just the battle itself ends up spreading and involving civilians. Somehow Kobe gets involved in that and it's just more of an incidental thing and he protects his citizens and becomes known as the hero for fending off Wang Ji and I guess Blackbeard in a way, maybe. So Kobe ends up inadvertently weakening Wang Ji and Blackbeard just kind of swoops in and later on oust him out of the island and becomes the new ruler. But these are just some fun ideas I had, so I just wanted to put them out there. If you have any other ideas, then let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, then please smash the like button, please sub to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications. As always, I hope you're having a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world. I'll catch you on the flip. Peace.